All right, first things first. I moved into a new shop. I'm cleaning house. Here you go. First person in the comments that says they want them, they're yours. Just pay for shipping in U.S. It's probably 10 bucks. Uh, outside U.S., maybe maybe 20 or so. But I will mail them to you. They're uh, they're not great tools, but uh, if you're just starting out, here you go. They're yours. There actually is one one good one in there, but I have a couple of them, so I'm gonna throw that one in. Okay, so first one in the comments on YouTube. I won't post the video anywhere else until the tools are gone. But today we're gonna make a sphere. Uh, Greg from Chefware Kit sent me this. It's a prototype he's working on. I'll put a link down below to his website, and I think he has uh, has some other ones on there, but I'm not sure if it's it's this identical one. But I made a couple. And it's just two basic adjustments, your height and then the cutter tip. But let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, there's a scribe line right here in that center on the, the tool. So you want to take and put your uh, tail stock up, the point on your tail stock up, right in that groove, and then set your tool height. I already did that. The other adjustment is you roll the tool over. Uh, get on camera here. And you want to set the the tip of the tool right there to your point. So you set it up. What I did was take a, a square here, put it down on my tool rest to make sure that the banjo was, was straight, line it all up, and then put a mark on each side of the tool rest with a Sharpie. And then it's all set up. So there's there's my mark and I already, already did that. And I did it on both sides so it's it's straight when I, when I tighten it up. And then we'll go ahead and line it up on the piece of wood. Okay, so what you want to do is, is whatever size ball you're making, this is two inch, so you want to find center on it. And that's where you want to line your tool up. You want to bring it right over to those marks you put on the banjo. That's basically what you want to do. But before you, before you do this part, you need to give it the basic shape so you're, so you're not trying to cut on the side of it. So we're just going to give it a basic shape and cut back in here a little bit so that the tool has enough room to, to come around when you do that. And then get a little bit of material out of the way here. So I'll clean out a little bit of material here so it has room to work. Okay, so you adjust it, adjust it, bring the tool height up a little bit and then I bring the lathe down to a thousand that's what he recommends and then we're just going to rock it back and forth and bring the tool down as we go bring the cutter down
and bring the door rest out of the way. Just knock off that little nib there. Down the wrong way. So there we go, it's just a perfect spear, just that fast. So you could um, cut this off and make a little little uh, j jam chuck jig to uh, to turn that off, turn, you know, part it off and then, and then turn it, and it'll, it'll still be round on you. Um, or you can uh, just part it off and hand sand it, but it's just, just that fast. Well, it doesn't get much easier than that. It's just a couple of minutes, you have, have perfect sphere. Um, thank you, Greg. I will uh, uh, I'll put a link down below to your website, and I'm not sure if he has th this exact one on there. I think it's it's something he was working on, but I have orders for a couple of kendamas, so I'm gonna go ahead and make up some spares before I have to put this in the mail and send it back to him, but thank you very much. Okay, and one other thing, last week when I was making the Cryptex, I was talking about the interior wood and using a secondary wood for it. I had to run into Home Depot for something else and I found this, it's a two inch dowel, it's poplar. They're 48 inches long, it was $8.70. So I grabbed a couple of them. You could probably get, I don't know, four or five Cryptex, the interior wood out of one of these. So I think it's gonna work out perfectly. So yeah, probably probably Lowe's has, has them too, but, but I think that's gonna work out great. But, all right. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.